They say mimicry is the sincerest form of flattery. But that's actually an ironic quote by Oscar Wilde used in The Importance of Being Earnest, so... D&D Minus? All right, roll those initiatives for me. I'm pretty sure I had 20 last time. Do you remember I'm that? I'm pretty sure I also that? had yeah, 20. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nine. That's a nine for Claw. It's an eight for me. Fourteen. Nice. Not terrible. No. Oh, my God. It's so slow. It's, it's showing me a D20 rolling so slowly. Oh, dang. Uh, Nineteen. It was worth the wait. All right, so that's a... Nine for Claw, an eight for Snandrake, a 19 for Dave, and a 14 for Bridget. Let me roll for the two mimics, one of whom is book-shaped, and one of whom is dick-shaped right now. All right, Dave, you are up first. Oh, this is just fucking great. Wait, okay, so there's a book and a dick in front of me? Yeah, so there's a dick on the desk, a large dick, obviously, not like a, not like a, Normal. So when you say a large dick, because let's let's face it, we all dimensions. Let's do, let's define our terms. Yeah, all American dildo. So I'm thinking like three and a half feet. Three oh, and a okay. half feet. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Remember the five by five room we were in last time? Oh, I have to rethink my entire strategy now. Well, yeah. Hold on. Does it come with balls? Yeah. It's three and a half feet with balls. Yeah. What's the girth situation? I can, I'll Google it for you. Let me see. All You're going to Google American dildo. Yeah, that's what I was picturing. An all American dildo. Is that an actual product? Yeah. I don't think it's three, three and a half, and a half, three and a half feet foot? long. No. No, that's not the that one. That feels inaccurate. No, it's not the all American. Largest dildo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not American according to the data I looked at. <laughs> we did an episode about this. You're looking at the <laughs> Sex Flesh Moby. It's a three foot tall super dildo. This is going to fuck up our Google algorithm. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> Wait, super dildo. Does it have like an outfit and a cape? <laughs> <laughs> and then glasses for when it's not a superhero. I want it to have a cape now. So its dimensions are 25.5 times 25.5 times 35.5 inches. So three feet. It's a cylinder, approximately a cylinder. You've seen a dick before, right? You've seen I know what a penis looks like. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) It's, you know, vaguely cylindrical, I suppose, if you just the the shaft part. Okay. So that's in front of me on a table. Yeah. And then there's also a book. But it's alive. I know it's alive. I know it's a mimic. Oh, yeah. It's moving towards you to attack you. It just ain't a muffin. I'm being attacked by a three foot penis. Yeah. And a book. You have had so you have had a month to get like your head around this. Yeah, I don't really listen okay. to the show. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. Now, does it have the same weakness as a penis? You're gonna have to like find if we out. hit it in the ball. Okay, fair enough. Yep. I tap the balls. <laughs> that's what. You, that's your fucking action. You could do an unarmed strike against the balls if you want. Just a reminder that we have fought a mimic before, and it almost killed Claw. And now there's two of them. Okay. I'll do the unarmed strike to the balls. How did we win? It wasn't a punch to the balls. There weren't balls last time. It wasn't a punch to the balls. It was an actual, actual attacks. That's an attack. Oh. Uh, <laughs> here, I'll, I'll do the punch to the balls because I got good punches. Okay. Yeah. Let, leave the punches to the punch master. I wasn't going to punch it. I was going to do a backhand slap like a ball check. You were doing nut check. <laughs> okay. Nut check is good. <laughs> I'm doing a nut check. You do an unarmed strike against the... No, no, you're not. You're going to do something helpful. <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. Anna, Dave. I... Oh. <laughs> if Dave wants to nut check the mimic, you got to let him nut check the mimic. Thank you. Fine. I'm going to roll a 20 so hard and nut check this so goddamn hard. You're act- I don't want you to do that. I don't want... Do I roll a 20? Uh, mm. Let me see what you get for a your D20? honor. D20? I'm going to go get that bag of <laughs> chips. I'm going to bring them back here. I'm just no loudly eating chips. You don't need to punish me. <laughs> 
It's been rolling this whole time. I have a very slow rolling <laughs> die situation. I don't know why. I'm serious. I'm watching this. It's excruciating. I wish I had done this on purpose to you. <sighs> I had that when I was using a laptop. I don't know if it's like, a, I don't know what it is, but it rolled incredibly slowly when I was on a laptop. 11. That hits. Uh, the balls are just out. There's no way that misses. There's no like armor situation. That misses. So you know what happens? You go for a ball tap and the two balls split apart like Jean-Claude Van Damme doing a split <laughs> and your hand just goes right in between them. What do you think happens when Van Damme does a split? <laughs> no, not, not to his balls. He The balls are the legs. <laughs> what do you think happens when a human does a split? It's Their fine. legs move out of the way? Okay, I missed. Yeah, yep. You missed. Like Jean-Claude Van Damme. The middle doesn't disappear <laughs> when people do it. It's fine. It does. It's a shapeshifter. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next up is Bridget. You are up next. Yeah. All right. I would like to ball tap Dave. <laughs> <laughs> as tempting as that sounds. I'm a dragon. I don't even know if that would make sense. <laughs> cloaca yeah, tap Dave. A cloaca situation. Cloaca. I would like to. Me and Heath and Eli all wanted to say cloaca so bad. I would like to <laughs> inflict wounds on one of them, please. Nice. The dick or the book? The book. Thank you very much. All righty. Interesting. All right. To hit. That's a 19. That'll hit. Nice. And that will be 36 damage. 36 damage. Wow. So this book, there's just a magical tearing. And this book splits in half with the power of your magic. And then there's sort of like a gurgling and a bubbling as the two halves sit there for a moment. And then two smaller books are now facing oh, you. No, oh, fuck. fucking A. Should have just swung and missed with a ball tap. <laughs> nope. That would have been better. There are other options. Are there? There'd be four balls. Fuck. Do you want to describe to us? You made a really funny rover joke last time we were hanging out all no, together recently. No. You want to describe it's it? Too late now. I already sabotaged our show so that that joke would go through. Pa, you're up next. Okay. Let's see. So we assume that the splitting will happen to both. I don't want to assume that about the dick just yet. I just feel like I would rather not. <laughs> so do you think I should attack the dick or one of the books? I mean, I say you always go for the dick. I mean, that's just my general advice. Mm -hmm. What's the old saying about when there's two books and a dick? <laughs> Makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do... I, I think it's flurry of blows. I think it's the <laughs> old saying. I'm going to do flurry of blows. <laughs> Fantastic. Blows. <laughs> it's a dick thing. To the head of the... To the head of the dick one. To the head of the penis. Clock sucker's doing a flurry of blows to the head of a penis, yep. just so everybody knows. Yeah, I, he's living up to his name. Up and down motion. Are you guys not picturing the like bibbity bibbity boxing thing? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, oh, good. absolutely. That's, that's what I'm picturing. Too. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> that's why I was surprised he went with the head. I mean, I see it, it just makes <laughs> yeah. more sense. Well, I don't want there to be four balls. I don't have two heads and four balls. Anyways, um, <laughs> I don't believe you. I just, I simply don't believe you. <laughs> So I do flurry of blows, and then I should get a bonus unarmed strike, correct? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. <laughs> That's also in the old saying. So it'll be five unarmed strikes, right? Yeah. Okay. But use the arms for other stuff is what I would recommend. <laughs> Here we go. Cradle it. First one is a one Ooh. plus seven, so that's an eight. But you don't get your pluses on ones, so that's, that's a one. Okay. So I'm, you know what? I'm going to make it four attacks now because you sort of stumble when you do that. Okay, so... A one, a nine. Nope. A 21. That'll hit. And an 11. Only one hit. Only one hit. If you're not picturing this dick bobbing and weaving <laughs> underneath, <laughs> as he furiously punches around it. And then like stare at my hands afterwards. Like, what's going on? <laughs> and then it, then it like jumps back from you. I know you're going to do damage, but. I'm picturing a penis doing the Neo. Oh my dodge. God, you beat me to it. That's exactly what I was about to say. That's exactly what I was like. One of the balls just does the gesture. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does the penis have arms as well? If the balls are the legs, does it also have like arms that are kind of like stunted out that are no, like Have you no. seen a penis yourself, Morgan? <laughs> I, mean, I I just thought it was like a hot dog that it was bent over in the wind. <laughs> Keanu. 
That's good too. Reeves. It's a penis with Keanu's face. Roll that damage for me. <laughs> oh my God. Five damage. Five damage. Fucking damn it. All right. You do you do do one little slap to that <laughs> penis tip there. But on the head. So you know. <laughs> yeah, on the head. Yeah. Where I it get, matters. I get, I get mine. Yeah. Okay. Next up is Nedrick. All right, let's see here. I should have had something all figured out to do. Oh, you know what? Okay. How much would one of these little books weigh, you think? Hmm. Sub question, how much would the penis weigh? That's a great question. It weighs five ounces. Okay, so then I I have a catapult. All right. (laughs) Interesting. So I can choose one object weighing one to five pounds within range that isn't being worn or carried. The object flies in a straight line up to 90 feet in a direction you choose before falling to the ground, stopping early if it impacts. It doesn't weigh one to five pounds. It weighs less than a pound. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Eli, I wasn't going to get that. <laughs> right. Not in a thousand years. Why would you tell people these things? <laughs> if the object strikes a creature, that creature must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the object strikes the target and stops moving, and the creature takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage plus 1d8 for every spell slot above two that I cast it at. So my question is, because it's like an object that I'm fighting, if I did that, would both of the things have to like take damage? Like, so if I threw the book at the penis, yeah, <laughs> they both have to do a dexterity saving throw else take, you know, the three. old saying about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you throw a book at a penis, the saying is yes. Is a penny earned <laughs> two important things. Technically, you're not supposed to be able to do this because it's a creature, <laughs> even though it's shaped like a book. Right, but it's a creature that is an object yeah, right no, now. No, it has to happen. Why would it not happen? That's stupid. <laughs> like, measure twice, cut. Spell doesn't work because of its soul. Absolutely happens. It's a heavy book. It's 1.1 pound. I just checked it. That, there you go. A 17 yeah, it's a, ounce it's a sl- book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, ne- what happens? <laughs> Damage wise. Okay, so both creatures have to make a dexterity saving throw. One of them is going to throw, the dick is going to throw an eight, which is one of my portents. Got it. He's going to fucking miss. He's going to miss. Yep. Nice. And I don't know what the other one, I don't know what the book is going to roll. And then they have to take three D8 damage. I'm going to roll. Surely with balls as legs, that is worse dexterity than like. (laughs) (laughs) Now, this, this really fucks it up. Are you ready? Oh, the God. book rolled an 18. <laughs> mm-hmm. So how the fuck did the book not get Did you get throw hurt? the book at the dick or the well, dick at so the book? Well, so if the book would like, say the book turns around back to like spine forward, right? So it's not going to hit it. Like, you know, it's like a, like a, you know, like in a headbutt, you don't hurt yourself if you do it, right? Yes. You know what I mean? This is exactly right. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. All right. So how much damage <laughs> do I do to the dick? See, that would be 15. 15 nice. damage. I rolled three fives. Ooh. Fuck yeah. On a D6 or Max what? damage. D8s. I'm going to give you one other thing. The book, when it touches the dick, turns into a dick. <laughs> but is it a tiny little 1.1 pound dick? No, no. It's the same size. It just because it impacted the dick, now it's also a dick. Well, God damn it. I feel like that's a pretty good size. A 1.1 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast listener, you didn't hear it because I had to cut it, but Keith cried for like 45 <laughs> minutes after he said that. We, we've all just gathered ourselves and we're ready to start up again. Uh, I'm a hands man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm a handsman. So that book that just turned into a dick, which is obviously a smaller dick, a one and a half foot dick, is very outraged at what you just did. And so it is going to spit at you. <laughs> Oh, really? No. Yeah. Oh, God. As a dick? Oh, God. Aim for the tits. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing we do? <laughs> <laughs> that is 17. Yeah, 17 will hit. 17, and you are going to take three acid damage. Oh. This is a penis that spits acid. acid. Oh, wait. Sorry. Not three. You're going to take 12 damage. I mean, isn't it acidic? (laughs) Wait, hold on. Salt, fat, acid, heat. Is it? Is it? Is Is it? 
it's not it's not soapy in my experience. No, no, definitely so that's not. Probably I not alkaline. Oh, that's not a guarantee, but I'm is, literally going to Google. It's come slightly acidic. alkaline. It's slightly it alkaline. A pH it's of seven point two to seven point four. Oh, there you go. Wow. Right on the edge. My goodness. And the book is going to the remaining. Wait, book. wait, do, wait, 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 wait. What does that do to my damage, though? If it's, <laughs> it's slightly alkaline, I don't you think took I acid have to damage take by acid an damage. alkaline. <laughs> yeah, you take, <laughs> take blunt damage <laughs> substance. I, look, I don't make it up. Okay, uh, this is straight from the D and D manual. Well, I mean, in in fairness, he didn't say come from a yeah. human. Yeah, it's just it's mimic yeah. juice. <laughs> no, you're right. That's what I'm calling it from now on, darling. Just so you know. Oh, now I want it to. Now I want the dick to like throw out a little like. You know, like the like the dinosaur in Jurassic Park that spit the acid. I want him to have a little fin. Oh, like yeah. The, the neck tails. Yeah. A foreskin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a foreskin. Just oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the foreskin. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my 100%. God. That's hilarious. I got to tell you, it's getting harder and harder every session to make the graphic novel of this fucking thing. <laughs> harder. Classic. <laughs> All right. And the book is going to attack... Bridget. It's a lot of penis words. Almost every word is a penis word. <laughs> <laughs> and Bridget, it's just going to whump you with its spine. Oh, sure. Is it? It sure is. We're going to find out. Oh, fuck. Is it going to turn into a, a Bridget? That's a nine? Uh, no, it's not going to whump me with its spine. All right. So it goes sailing over the top of you, strikes into the smaller penis, and it too turns into a penis. <laughs> uh Oh, hmm. okay. If a penis hits a book, does the penis turn into a book? You don't know. Well, there are no more books now. Oh, it's penises all the way They're down. All penises. Well, what, what? I was wondering if it hit Bridget. Yeah, or like the Warhammer. This is the fucking party makeup all over again. <laughs> yeah. Two wee dicks and a few bigger dicks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, big dick. It's big dick's turn, and it is coming for you, Claw. Okay, coming. Classic. Nice, Claw. Claw penis. It is going to go for you with its testicles. It's going to attack you three times with its testicles. Like punching? Like two and one? Yeah. He's a leg guy. Yeah, he's a kicker. One, two, three. Yeah. Three, 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 three. Like jab, cross, hook? Jab, cross, hook. Exactly. Yeah. Jab, cross, hook, left, right. Okay. But those are his legs. Yeah, right. No, I think he's jumping up and doing like a 540 kick type thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's a 17. That'll hit. That'll hit. That's a 14. That's a tie, so it goes to him, right? Yep. And an eight. No. Okay. So he is going to do 11 plus five. 16 damage. 16 bludgeoning damage Woof. from these balls. And this is the same one that like I attacked, right? So like, yeah. I'm getting shown up by a dick at martial arts. Yeah. It dodges your kung fu, and then it's like, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, and then you just get <laughs> ball slapped in the face. Great. Delightful. Mm -hmm. All right. We're back to the top of the order. Dave, you are up. I would like to cast Mage Hand, please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Dave, you know that Mage Hand can't attack. I know everything about Mage Hand. Okay. <laughs> Do you? I'm an expert <laughs> in Mage Hand. Do you know me? He even knows how long it takes. I think you're thinking <laughs> of Strange Hand, but you know, we'll get to that later. <laughs> You can sit on the mage hand. If you want. <laughs> okay, so you want me to read mage hand to please do yep. refresh everybody. Mm -hmm. A spectral floating hand appears at a point I choose within range. The hand lasts for the duration, <laughs> or, or until you dismiss it as an action. The hand vanishes <laughs> if it is ever more than thirty feet away from me, or if I cast the spell again. I can use my action to control the hand. I can use the hand to manipulate an object. Open an unlocked door or container, stow or retrieve an item from an open container, or pour the contents out of a vial. That's not useful. You can move the hand up to 30 feet each time I use, I can move, you get it. Mm -hmm. The hand cannot attack. It cannot activate magic items. It cannot carry more than 10 pounds, but we're all set on that. <laughs> it says an object, right? I can manipulate an object. That is correct. All right. The ghostly mage hand appears in front of you. Nice. Can I have it manipulate an object now or do I have to wait? No, it, co it costs an action to summon the mage hand. So that's your, that's your action for now. You'll be able to use it next turn. If anybody wants to use my hand, they can use it. <laughs> You'll be able to flip them a bird on your next turn. Right, exactly. All right. 
Dave has made a spectral hand in front of him. Mm -hmm. I put it near the big dick. Okay, cool. Understood. You can summon bread too. Nope, that's a bonus action. Nope, that's a bonus action. I summon bread. Nope, no, no, it is. It isn't a bonus action. We know this. We've already talked about this. Hi, checking. Uh, cool. Um, spirit guardians. Spirit guardians. I'm gonna cast spirit guardians, and because I chose the the recent god that we, do you know when we we went and saw Gary? I had like a fay something. What was that? Yeah, you had a uh, the veil of the fay. I so I am going to cast spirit guardians and because I am an angelic character I am going to make them appear as they so when you cast a spell you can designate any number of creatures you see to be unaffected by it I guess I'll say that all of you guys are unaffected <laughs> by it <laughs> yeah don't just say not just the dicks okay don't just uh, yeah, say only fair. the dicks it's a distance of 15 feet from me in all directions. And so these creatures flit around at 15 feet. And basically anybody who starts their turn, an affected creature's speed is halved in the area. And when the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 3d8 radiant damage. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage. All right. Describe these fae for us. Oh, they're little like sprightly, like larger than lightning bugs, but definitely like that sort of thing. They're just like flitting around and going in and Tinkerbell, whoosh. sort of Tinkerbell size. Sure, Tinkerbell size. Yeah. Okay. But cooler. Like they're, they've got like- <laughs> But not fucking lame. Tattoos and like- Tinkerbell who smokes. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and undercuts and like biker jacket. Oh. Smoking isn't cool, kids. One actually has a motorcycle that is like driving around. I'm kidding. <laughs> smoking is obviously cool. Oh. <laughs> Always has been. Oh, they don't have to be. They're smoking stocks, man. Let's be honest. So it's totally cool. Yeah. I like how my wife literally summoned her worst friends as her spirit guardian. <laughs> 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 Do they post a lot on Instagram, darling? Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> they have a really good band. Hey now. <laughs> hey now. You're an all-star. They're in Smash Mouth. <laughs> Claw, you're up. Okay. You're in a fight with a giant dick. Uh I am. Oh wait. Bonus action. Sure. I'm gonna heal Claw. Oh, nice. He's Thank you. Wait, who has anybody else taken damage? I have also taken 12 points of damage. I'm gonna heal Snedrick. Sorry, Claw. That's fine. You know what? You you probably need to do Claw. First, I'm gonna I may be able to heal myself a bit on the next turn. Oh, well damn. All right, I'll heal claw. Cool. And that's going to be second cure wounds. Yep. I'm gonna cure your wounds, bud. So that's fifteen. Whoa, okay. Bam. Pretty much back up to max. Sweet. Okay. All right. And with that health, Claw, you are up. All right. I'm trying to think if I should disengage and go after one of the smaller dicks or stick with the big dick. It's the classic quandary. You you work that dick until it's finished. Yeah. <laughs> Do you go for one big dick or two small dicks? It's such a hard, it's the, the, the age old. The eternal, yeah. Question. That is not, that's never. I know that there's going to be hand stuff from Dave on the next turn. So I'm trying to think if he's going to go after the big dick or the little dick. Wait, are you trying to decide whether you should do mouth stuff since he's going to do hand stuff? <laughs> no, I'm figuring he's probably going to try and distract one. The is yes, I guess I can, I can just attack and then... You are a clock sucker. Yeah. The answer is always yes, mouth stuff, Claw. <laughs> I'm just going to do another two unarmed strikes to the big dick. Do it. Oh, 15. Oh, that'll hit. Okay, so he's somewhere between 11 and 15. hey oh, and a 25. Oh, shit. Yep, those will both hit. Uh, Six. Yes. And nine. Yes. And then you should get two bonus strikes with that, right? Because two attacks, you get two bonus strikes. Sure. Yep. I never know. I think it's five. Yeah, I should probably read 12, it. 12, 16. I think it's million. Oh, so close. 26. Yep. That'll hit. Mm -hmm. There we go. And a critical. 26. Holy there shit. we go. Oh. Jesus Christ. That's a heavy <laughs> fucking. Holy All right. shit. Yet. Roll the damage on the first strike. So it's popped up with a different number on the sheet. I think I have to roll the critical first. Go ahead. Roll the critical first. No worries. 13. 13. Is that doubled? 
That's it's two d six plus four, yeah. And then, oh, another six, another ten. Oh, all right. What? Yeah. Damn. What was that? Like 30, 38 four, all day. Yeah. 38. Okay. Hell yeah. You could have killed me from like full health. <laughs> <laughs> you did some major damage to this penis. You see a crack start to form at the center of the Snickers vein. <laughs> Sorry, the Snickers thing? Yeah. yeah. What was the Snickers vein? Snickers vein. Yeah. Oh, I think it's Snickers thing. Obviously. Not really much of a difference. What is okay. Snickers vein? Oh, come on. Every Snickers bar has a big dick vein in it. Every what? Every Snickers bar on God's green earth has a big beating dick vein in it. A big penis vein. What are you talking about? Think about a Snickers from top down. Oh, like the oh, like this top of it? Yeah. Hold on. Go to your fridge right now. And then think about a dick top down. Hold on. Go to your penis right now. <laughs> I'm looking up my penis. Or your Snickers. <laughs> I'm Googling his penis. <laughs> this is uh, upsetting. Moving on. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Patreon goal. I have pictures of Heath's penis. I could give Heath, you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hungry out here. It's hungry. That's the problem. <laughs> it's fun size. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Snedrick, you are up. All right, I am going to siphon some life off. Of, I am going to suck some life out of one of these penises. Uh, oh, my God. All right. With my vampiric touch. The touch of my shadow wreath hand can siphon the life force from others to heal your wounds. Make a melee spell attack against a creature within reach. On a hit, the target takes 3d6 necrotic damage, and you regain hit points equal to half the amount of necrotic damage dealt. Until the spell ends, which is one minute, you can make another attack on each of your turns as an action. All right. So you're running over to the desk where you threw the book into the dick to touch one of the dicks. I mean, I'm going to, whichever penis is closest to me, I'm going to attack. That's a sentence that describes your life today. All right. Yeah. <laughs> which penis are you doing? One of the two small penises or the big penis? I'm going to say, let's start with one of the small penises. All like, right. I, I'm not, I know, I know my place. <laughs> I know my limits. <laughs> Nothing wrong with starting with a small penis. All right. 15. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. 3d6. So I'm, oh shit. I'm going to do nine damage. And so I take half of that. Do I round up or down? Round up. So I'm going to heal five points damage as well. That wasn't much. All right. The dick you just sucked the life out of is going to give you a couple of. Wait a second. First, it needs to uh, roll a wisdom saving throw. Yes, of course. Why? Because my my fairies oh. might attack the shit out of it. Well, they will, no matter what. 16. 16. Does, does, that does beat it, but they take half damage. So that's going to be 3d8 radiant damage. Nine. So half of that. What does that mean? Five. Four. All right. Okay, now you're rounded oh, down. I, oh, I thought, it was, a minute. I thought it was five. Yeah, it is yeah. five. You round up for damage. Okay. All right. Cool. There you go. All right. Five damage. So a little fairy comes over and, you know, <laughs> fucking slaps it with a knitting needle or whatever the fuck it's into that week. Oh, a heroin needle. Come on. These are goth fairies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this mimic is going to attack you, Snedrick. It's going to hit you or it's going to try to hit you three times. I'm going to clench. I'm going to clench. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe, buddy. 17? <laughs> Don't breathe. <laughs> All that breathing. Yeah, that 17 will hit. Ugh. 19? Yeah, that'll hit. And a 7. That will not. All right. So 19 is higher than 17, Eli. So you can just assume. <laughs> you go to the mimics. Don't make the mimics go to you. You go to the mimics. <laughs> All right. That's going to do 11 plus 9 damage. 20 damage. Oh, Jesus wow. Christ. 20 cock slapping points of damage. Ouch. Well, next time I'm healing you. I, uh, yeah, I hope so. Thanks. All right. And then the second smaller dick. Well, first it makes you make a wisdom th saving throw, right? So let's do that. That's a four. So that's not going to save. Roll that damage for me, Anna. Okay. 18. 18 <laughs> damage. All right. That is not nothing. Yeah. So one of these fairies comes through and just spears this dick through the back with a heroin needle. Just, you know. <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer style. It, it definitely staggers forward, but 
So, Nedrick, since you're the closest because you're right there grabbing the other dick, it's going to attack you. But because of that uh, very violent attack it got from a fairy, it's only going to attack you twice. Well, that was nice of it. Oh, it's going to attack you zero times because it rolled a one. And so with that critical fail, this penis is just going to sort of lunge forward at you and just fall off the table and land at your feet. Explain to me that that's never happened to it. Before. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's because you're so pretty. Heroin needle sticking out its back, yeah. <laughs> it's not the drug. Sticking out of its Snickers vein. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heroin will do Let's that to you. Just be still. <laughs> All right. And this giant dick, the big one, that's going to go for claw again with three hits. Once again, that's going to be a 11. Nope. 13. Nope. And a one. So, yeah. Yeah. This, now the tides have turned. You were dodging the dick and then you <laughs> step back and one of your balls slips out from under your feathers and gestures at him. <laughs> All right, Dave, you are up. Nice. Okay. Do birds have balls? No. no. Blocka. I cannot say how many times we have gone over <laughs> the anatomy of it's the only through line of this show. It's not the wand. Definitely not the wand. Claude, what do you got there? Just show for a second. <laughs> I'm I'm just so happy to have dodged everything that I'm just not gonna show. I'm just there you gonna... go. Yeah, you don't want to spend that action anyway. We're fighting three penises. Don't show them your cloak. <laughs> right. Don't add to the <laughs> balls in the room. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna, I'm going to tell this uh, magical hand to distract the big dick with a delightful uh, I'm going to go Euro grip hand job. So like turned over, <laughs> thumb down, you know what I'm talking about? It's not a wanted hand job and that makes it an attack Heath. So unfortunately you can't attack. No, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, no, no. If it's unwanted, it's an attack. It's an that attack. That is correct. No, no, no. So here's... <laughs> yeah, no, no. Go on, Heath. Go on, Heath. Do your, do your argue thing. <laughs> no, here's what happens. <laughs> I, I ask the mimic penis. No. <laughs> well, I didn't hadn't asked you yet. All right, you should see. You should summon Carl and give him a handy. I mean, he deserves that. I summon point. Carl the Pug of Pegacorn. Oh, oh God. right, Carl appears. We knew it was about to happen. Next to you, whoa, that's a lot of dicks. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's three dicks. There's three dicks. What do you think? Will you uh, charm the biggest one, real quick? What? Charm, charm the large <laughs> penis, please. <laughs> Dude, I'm a fucking... Dave, can I talk to you over here for a you're second? You're very charming. You're, you're charming. I'm a fucking pug of pecacorn. Okay? Yeah, I know. You're delightful. I'm a demon. What I spend most of my time doing <laughs> is flying around fire. Occasionally, I poke someone with my horn. Yep. You want me to go charm that giant penis? What do you think I can do? Uh, I want to use your, uh, your, your gift of the gab. Oh, God. All right, here we go. You know, you're going to get sexual misconduct, like, s lawsuit. Oh, I'm absolutely telling Gladys about this. <laughs> absolutely telling Gladys about this. <laughs> I mean, and, and I, I just want to say, I brought this up as an example at our last meeting. I was like, <laughs> what if he tries to make me charm a dick? And Gladys was like, oh, that's not going to happen. What did she say? She said, that's not going to happen. So, you know, <laughs> joke's on her. Well, shows what Gladys knows. <laughs> All right. Are you going to, is he going to take mouthwash first, like the guy at Fire Island? Yeah. Fi Firefest? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm going to make a... Oh, never mind. Forget someone it. Someone at home got that, darling. That's very good. Uh, they appreciate yeah. it. Oh, now I get it. So wait, no, I get it. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, that's all. Fine. Yeah. It's a rover all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have Carl make a charisma roll here. That's a two. <laughs> Ooh. So he goes over and he's like, hey, I like you. Vain? <laughs> I guess. I like a big Snickers. And then he looks at you and sort of shrugs. Carl, did is it is it a charmed? I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you um just uh ask real quick if it's cool if we do a hand thing? Absolutely. Speaking of free action. Hey, uh, Mr. Mimic guy, I know you're in the middle of like a, a blood feud thing, but now that we have this rapport going, is it okay if my buddy over here jerks you off with magic? Of course not. He says, of course not. I heard, no, I heard, I heard, yeah. <laughs> I heard, okay, uh, so here's what we're going to do. Well, you're not going to do anything. You used your turn summoning me, so. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, this is for free action. I'm just talking. Okay. I'm just talking. <laughs> yeah, talking up. <laughs> so uh, I'm done. I'm done talking. I, know, I feel like it's going to be worse. <laughs> Let me finish. No, that's the problem. That's the, pro that's the problem. <laughs> Dave, in the first place. Hey, 
everybody, just hopping in real quick to thank you so much for listening to the show. I hope you're enjoying a nice, big, hour-long-plus episode this week. We had a ton of fun recording this, as you can probably tell. Next episode is coming up the first Friday after the first Wednesday of next month. As per usual, patrons get it a day early. And hey, speaking of patrons, you can become one over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus all spelled out for as little as a dollar a show. You get access to behind the scenes Dungeon Masters corners where I talk about my process for creating the show as well as our special episode the worst and the dimmest our version of the star trek universe which is a ton of fun to record and hey if you can't afford that patreon right now we get it we understand times are tough why not head over to wherever you get your podcast and give us one of those five star reviews i've heard so much about many of you have been using them to directly message me which i greatly appreciate i greatly appreciate and i read all of them because they send me a little email on itunes and on the other services whenever I get a review. So just, you know, if you ever want a way to basically text me, a five-star review is the way to do it. Doesn't work with anything else, though. If it's a four-star review or anything, nope, can't can't read it, can't see. And actually, it means the next message you send me, I can't read that either because I hate you. I'm just kidding. All right. I think that's it for this month. Thanks so much to the patrons who created the characters for this arc and we'll see you next month all right bye all right next up is bridget i'm going to heal snedrick nice your wounds on snedrick and that's i just cast it yeah i just gotta like touch him yep so i'm gonna do that tan thank you You're welcome. I could use 10. That's it? That's it. All right, Claw, you are up. Okay. So just give me a little bit of a recap. We've done like a bunch of damage to the big one. Like I've done some damage. Some other damage has been done. We've all done some damage. (laughs) Do a book at it. And one of the small dicks is undamaged or no? All the dicks are damaged. All the dicks are damaged. Yeah. And one is... My Ted Nugent cover band. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> one is engaged with Snedrick. The big one is engaged with me. Yeah. And the the other one is unengaged? Uh, no, two are engaged with Snedrick. One is engaged with you. Oh, okay. I am going to do Step of the Wind. All right. To disengage from the big one. And I'm going to attack. Let me add a key point. There we go. And I'm going to do four unarmed strikes on the... More damage of the one that's engaged with Snedrick. The one with the heroin needle sticking out of it, sure. That's the one, the one they couldn't mm-hmm. get it up. Yep, that one. Okay. So four unarmed strikes, right? Yeah. So when you say unarmed, I keep imagining you hitting him with your dick, right? Because <laughs> it's unarmed. <laughs> but could be, could be. Yeah. As I know that's not it because you have a cloaca, but stuff. <laughs> or legs. I, if, if we win this, I'm going to keep one of them as like a fake dick. And then I'll, yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> so 16. Yep. Another 16. That'll hit two. An 11. That will not hit. A 17. That'll hit. Holy shit. So three hits. Roll that damage. Dang. Uh, six, seven. 13. Also, just curious, um, when you're done with the damage, uh, what are you going to do with that fake dick? Uh, <laughs> I wanna, I'd like you to elaborate on your plan with that. I mean, we don't know. We haven't encountered those yet, but I'm sure we'll have fun with it. And 10 is the last one. One and three damage. Yeah, so you you give, you again... But like a smaller boxing version, just like bibbity, 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 bibbity <laughs> to that smaller dick. It's still going, huh? It's not, that wasn't enough. Wow. Still going. Still going. But he'll probably attack me next so that you shouldn't have two of them on you. Snedrick, you are up. All right. So I know this, I can't decide what the dick is doing and shit, but I, because this would be awesome, I think this is what does happen. <laughs> I think the dick that's, att- that's engaged with me that Claw just hit leaps up in the air and like tries to do sort of a sword attack against me and I pull out the fucking wand of seven parts and block him, <laughs> meeting sort of phallic Ooh. symbol to phallic Ooh, symbol. Oh, love right? it. Oh, yeah. Very like Star Warsy <laughs> and pressing the lightsabers up against each other, making you wonder why one of them just doesn't turn it off and make the other guy stumble forward kind of a moment. Yep. <laughs> love it. Okay. <laughs> and when I do that, I'm going to use Thunder Wave... A wave of thunderous force sweeps out each creep. Oh, fuck. That's no, th- do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, just go okay. ahead. Just do it. Do it. All right. 
Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed, except I'm using this at level three, so it would be 4d8 damage or half that. I can take it. Are any of us 15 feet away? No, you're right. You're all right there. I failed the constitution saving throw, so I just took the damage. Uh, so Bridget fails. I did a 14. Does that pass? It is 14. So that, no, it, or yes, it fails, right? Yeah, that fails. I'm going to kick you guys' ass. Sorry. <laughs> Dave, it's 11. That fails. <laughs> Woof. All right. Let me roll for the dicks. Watch, the dicks all pass. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Let me roll for the dicks here. They still take half damage in that case. Yeah. All right, small dick number one rolls a 21. <laughs> that is a very high constitution small penis. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> okay, small dick number two rolls a seven. So that's a nice. So that one failed. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Big dick rolls 18. So that succeeds. Jesus Christ. All right, so I'm going to do way more damage to you guys. That's okay. fine. The good news is I only ended up doing 12 with my four D8s. All right. Four D8 on a 12? Wow. Yep. Two of them were ones. I got an eight, a two, and two ones. I was hoping for a low roll at that point, but uh, so at least I got that. The dicks get 12, six, and six? Yep. Yes. All right. Hopefully the one that we I just smacked gets the 12. That's the one that I was... No, it's not. Unfortunately, Snedrick, there's one constitution safe and throw. That we haven't rolled yet. That, of course, is the Constitution saving throw for Carl the Pug of Pegacorn. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh dear. Let's, roll, let's see how Carl does. He rolled a twenty-one. Hey, rolled a twenty-one. Hey. Fuck yeah, Carl. Fuck yeah. So he so takes six damage. Takes six damage. <laughs> might kill him anyway. I think I might kill him. Give me one second. <laughs> kill Carl. I mean, it's Heath that gets punished if if Carl dies. So I'm good with that. Aye. That is correct. Sometimes I get the opposite of punished. Sometimes I turn huge and I go off a turnbuckle. No, he's alive. <laughs> he is still alive. All right. He's not doing great, but he is <laughs> alive. He's going to die soon. Yeah. He turns to you and he's like, et tu, Snedrick, et tu. Really? <laughs> All right. The mimic that is engaged with you, Snedrick, is going to wump you three more times. It's doing oh. wump damage? Yeah. <laughs> That's bludgeoning, but with a dick. It's a dick bludge. Yeah. Got yeah. It. <laughs> a 14. Uh, 14 hits. A nine. No. And a 19, which will hit. Yes. So that's two hits for 16 damage. What? Whoa. You alive? Yeah. You're still conscious? Yeah. Right. I am conscious. I have five hit points. Okie dokie. The next dick. The small, the other small one. Oh, wait. Did it take its damage from the spirit guardians? Oh, no. The the last one did not let it no, take. No, it didn't. It needs to do that. All right. Wisdom saving throw. Maybe another heroin needle will kill it and we'll have not done that. Yeah. That is a four. So what? It's going to take 17 damage. It takes 17. Yep. Yeah, 17 oh, wow. damage. All right. Still alive, but definitely took a hurting from that one. What? And the next one is about to do it. So. Yeah. Let me roll that wisdom saving throw. Does that just last the whole time? It lasts for one minute with concentration. Okay, but you did a healing spell. Doesn't that make it stop? Only if it uses concentration, I believe. Okay. The healing spell does not use concentration because it is a one and done. All right. If you cast another spell that requires concentration. Okay. And I have not done that yet. And you haven't taken... You took damage, though. I did take damage. Oh, so I should do a constitution saving throw to see if I keep it or not. Yeah, do a constitution saving throw. What do I have to hit? Ten or half the damage you take. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because I failed it. Okay. Okay, never mind. All right. So I'm going to give that. Goodbye, fairies. I'm going to give that health back to that penis. Right. And now the other penis is up. This is the one engaged with claw, the one with the heroin needle sticking through it. It is not looking good. Love it if you gave 18 back to the penis. It's fine. <laughs> and it is going to attempt to adhere to you. So the penis sort of shimmers for a moment and then it dives at you, Claw. Shimmers. Yeah. Shimmers with magic. I see. Okay. And you need to roll a strength saving check for me. Okay. 
I imagine like a like a shiny Pokemon. Yeah, card. exactly. You need to roll a thirteen. A little a little iridescence of the penis. I. <laughs> I was picturing a vampire penis in the sun. <laughs> Twenty-two. X, yeah, you rip this penis off from your eyes and throw it across the room. Eyes? It went for the eyes. Huh? It went for the eyes. Yeah, I was trying to blindfold you. They go sure. right for the eyes. Yep. Oh, Wait, I do I let it go or do I still have it in my hand? Uh, you get to choose actually because you won. So whatever you want to do. Mm. Hold it in front of your crotch area and go. <laughs> you know, like just to, like make it embarrass it a little bit. <sighs> I I really want to do something, but I'm just gonna like. Is it still sticky? It can't be because I I could be able to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to throw it at the dick. Oh, you were thinking of like a wacky wall walker situation? <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could stick it to one of the other dicks. I'm going to throw it at the dick that's engaged with Snedrick. Okay. Great. You, 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 you toss it over there. <laughs> a lot of throwing of our enemies today. <laughs> All right. While you're doing that, big dick is going to go for you. Three womp attacks. Who? Me? Claw? You, you claw, yes. Yep, yep. That's an eight. That's not a hit. That's a 20, natural 20. That, I guess, is a hit. Yeah. And a 14. Uh, tie, so that's a hit, right? So that will hit. Okay, so that is going to be 13. So that's going to do 13 damage with the first attack. Just the first one, right? Just the first one, yep. And it's going to do... Four damage for the second one. I just want to point out that I have an enlarge reduced you sure spell do. that I could have used at any point. <laughs> it, there's, it, I don't know if it would have been useful, um, I, but it's been tempting regardless. What are you going to do? It was all dependent on whether Carl's <laughs> charmed them. <laughs> all right, Dave, you are up. Okay. Uh, what's the situation with the... Two small dicks? Still two, two small dicks dick. and a big dick. And a Carl. And a Carl. And Carl. The One of the small ones is like real close, I think, though. Okay. Can I have Carl do something separately? Does he get his own turn? He gets his own turn, yeah. After yours. Okay. And I have a, a mage hand. Yep. Not going on. <laughs> that has not done anything at this point. Can I use this mage hand in a non-attacking defensive... So here's the situation. I just want to be clear about what the, the optics of what's happening. I want to be clear about the optics. It's you, like, we're it, being attacked by dicks. It, it's us. We're the victims of a dick attack. So when we're doing things to the dicks, it's positive. Oh, I just want to be clear about that. Ah, 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 Jesus. A defensive hand job. You have literally done no damage <laughs> to any of them. Yeah, you I, you haven't really attacked the dicks. I think I think you're saying we I, a lot here. I don't know. <laughs> here's what I will let you do. I will let you have these this mage hand hold your action so that when the next dick attacks it will attempt to block in a strength contest with that dick. Yeah, that's what I want. I wanted that. Done. All right. Yep, that's what I would uh, like to happen. But they're not going to attack you. They're going to attack me. A strength contest. It can hold 10 <laughs> fucking pounds. And that's it. Not a very that's strong a, hand. a lot of dicks. <laughs> I mean, the dick only weighed 1.1 pounds. I, but how hard can it punch? That's true. All right, what's Carl doing? Carl, I would like you to attack the bigger dick. All right, here we go. Oh. Horn into the urethra. Yeah, Let's that's go. obviously horn into the urethra. All right, or or the balls. Yuck. Or maybe a Prince Albert. You could do a Prince Albert. Sure. With the... Your call, Carl. Whatever, whatever you think's best. Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> You're not a fan of the Prince Albert. Do uh, more pug foo. Thank you. That was cute. What are you a fan of? Um, I like uh, meatballs. Uh, yeah. When it comes <laughs> to general piercings. Brand. Oh, when it comes to general piercings. That's yeah, that's very, what I meant. It's a very different question. It is a different question. <laughs> oh, we all know you have a He's going to use his horn. So that's going to be a plus five to attack. That's a 22. That'll hit. And he will do 1d4 plus three piercing damage. Five. He will do five damage to the big dick. I helped. Good job, Carl. Yeah. No, Carl helped. Carl helped, yeah. Stop trying to steal his. Yeah. I, 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 Carl doesn't exist without me. Wow. <laughs> Actually, Woof. he does. He's a summoned the <laughs> demon. Yeah. Summoned from somewhere. Yeah, he's not helping over wherever. 
He's just hanging out with Gladys and just like talking about weird hypothetical scenarios. Right, but he exists. It actually did happen. Turned out to be a pretty realistic scenario, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I realized as I said it that it did happen this one time. <laughs> Here I am, chomping a dick. Bridget, you're up. All right. I am going to use my bonus action first and do a healing word on Snedrick. Lovely. Take 11 damage. Or t- 11, not damage. <laughs> 11. <laughs> 11 health. And as my main action, I am going to summon the fucking fairies again. Yeah. All right. With all new heroin. <laughs> all right. Claw, you're up. When they dissipated the first time, the fairies all put up social media posts that said, taking a break <laughs> from social media for a while. Be well, friends. And now they're back two days later. I want you to know that maybe some cool. of my friends will one day listen Not to this podcast. Not in a million fucking years, darling. <laughs> I could I could list their goddamn social security numbers. How I've dare never you? felt more safe or comfortable talking shit. I could crawl into an underground vault and talk shit and feel less secure than I do here on our Dungeons and Dragons podcast, my love. That's well. Now I definitely won't talk. About right. Claw, you're up. It's okay. None of my friends listen either. I'm gonna do patient defense which means that I can take the dodge action as my bonus action. So in the future, if they attack me, I can try and dodge. So I'm going to do two unarmed strikes to the heavily damaged small dick. The heavily damaged small dick. All right. Yeah. Roll the first one first before you decide to attack it twice. Okay. 15. 15. Roll that damage for me. Hey, oh, nine. Nine. Yeah. That splits that heavily damaged dick in two. And now it's two T. Tiny penises. Ah. I don't think teeny, I, teeny tiny seems like, well, maybe you're being a little hyperbolic. They're small. Pigs in a blanket. They're adorable. What are you doing with your second attack? I mean, should we keep attacking? Like, if they're just going to keep splitting? Aye. Until we can squash them with our feet. Pino's paradox. <laughs> 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 Paracox. Because uh, <laughs> there's a pair of them. That's pretty good. All right. That's very good. Or paradix. You could go paradix. So now we got one small dick, one big dick, two tiny dicks, right? Yep. I feel like you take out one of the tiny ones with your other hand. I was thinking that. Yeah. So we have the you know, small, medium, large thing going on. It makes it easier to talk about. Okay. I'll go ahead and tackle one of the tiny dicks. Do it. 23. That'll hit. Fuck. Jesus, you have heavy uh, dice tonight. Ten. Squish. Just the minute it splits, you just slam your hand down, squish. One of the tiny dicks is gone. Okay, cool. Like a fucking Vienna sausage. And you get a bonus strike because that was unarmed. So you can strike something else too. Head cannon. There's actually much tinier dicks, but they're like minuscule. Microscopic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't even see them. <laughs> I, well, now you've ruined the last part of the arc. Claw was going to tragically cough up a bunch of tiny dicks. And <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. You guys were going to have to save him. Yeah. Oh, dear. No, my bonus action is the dodge, right? Oh, right. Because you did patient defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. So do- I'm dodging as my bonus action. That is correct. All right. The other tiny dick sees you smash its compatriot and it is going to come for you, Claw. I'm assuming I'm going to try and dodge, right? Is it going to do three tiny wump, wump, wumps? <laughs> it should be like wimp, wimp, wimp. Yeah. Just t- pet, pet. It's pet, pet, pets. <laughs> yeah. What do I roll for a dodge? It just has disadvantage. Oh, okay. Six won't hit. Nope. Ten won't hit. And an eight won't hit. Yeah, so it desperately tries to jump, but it can't even reach you. That's how much bigger than it you are. It just sort of feebly reaches up at you. It was just slap, 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 but it, it does nothing. Snedrick, you are up. All right, so from where I'm standing, can I line up two of the penises in my sights? Oh, God. <laughs> or all three. So you're currently engaged with a penis, which means you could move so that you're attacking large penis and medium-sized penis that still exists. I mean, there's literally definitely a line that encompasses right. both yeah. penises in this room. But you're going to take an attack of opportunity, of peepertunity. Okay, all right, all right. So I'll just use it on this one then. I'm going to use Agonazer's Scorcher. I'm going to create a line of flame five feet wide that's going to engulf this penis and do 3d8 in damage. Oh, if it's five feet wide, it gets all the dicks. Oh, okay. Amazing. Well, then I'm going to get all the dicks. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to scorch three dicks. 
I'm gonna like I'm gonna light them up like a fucking birthday cake. I'm gonna get all the dicks. Yep. It's that old saying: if it's five <laughs> feet wide, it gets all the dicks. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, and they take 3d8 fire damage on a failed save, which would be a dexterity saving throw, or half as much on a successful Dexterity. Dexterity. That's good. (laughs) That's brilliant. All right. Let me roll that dexterity saving throw. That is a 19. Oh, come on. Uh, That'll dodge. All right. Giant dick is up next. That's a four. That will not dodge. That will not save. And then... 20. <laughs> That's a 19. What the fuck? He's those well, yeah, mighty ducks he's so underneath small, the would flame. Go, yeah, go exactly. Under it. Yeah. So the, the two are taking half damage. One is taking full damage. It's about the motion. All right. So it's 11, <laughs> 11 and six. Tiny little penis burns away, even though they dodge. Tiny penis is gone. Nice. Agile, mobile, hostile, very small, but very. Uh, effective. Giant penis gets burned in half and is now two medium-sized penises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And medium-sized penis is is doing just fine. Just fine. I mean, come on, like it's, it's hot. <laughs> it's hurting. It, it did burn. It, it did hurt. It's a burned zombie penis. I mean, thank you. All right, the fairies are back. Aye. So, medium-sized penis is going to make a wisdom saving throw. Excellent. That's a four. All right. They're going to take the full force of 16 damage. Oh, yeah. 16 damage. It reads Jeez, a nice. bunch of those fairies tweets <laughs> and it is really confused about what its politics are. And it is going to. Thank you. Thank you. I quit the podcast. <laughs> I quit the marriage. This dick is voting for Jill Stein. Yeah, 100%. absolutely voting for Jill Stein. And then it's going Woof. this <laughs> And then this one's going to attack Snedrick because this is the one it was engaged with. It's going to go for two penis slaps. 16. That'll hit. And 22. Those will both hit. Oh, yeah. So that'll do six damage. Six all together? All right. Well, that's not as bad as the last. (laughs) So you're just like, oh, that's kind of adorable. Yeah. (laughs) You did six damage. Aw. Look at you. Yes, you did. Six. Yes, you like did. <laughs> you damaged me. So now we're going up against three medium-sized penises. There are two medium-sized penises. Jesus. <laughs> That's it. Just two medium-sized penises. Oh, okay. I feel like there's three. Me- the big one split into two, right? Big one split into two. Small one that was left died. Oh, yeah. I thought there was still a medium one that I was engaged with. What, ju- what just hit me? It's like that old saying, you always lose track of how many dicks there are. (laughs) When they start splitting. (laughs) Sorry. Yeah, you're right. There are three medium-sized penises. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry, I don't mean to talk us into more dick. (laughs) Just want to be clear, the God of the universe lost track of how many dicks there are. Feels like I want the D at this point. Do you have any idea how many dicks I have on my graph paper right now? <laughs> that's, that's a fun sentence. That's it's literally always a high number, though, right? So. Sticks all the way down. All right, so you're saying there's three dicks, three dicks, three medium sized dicks. Where are they relative to me? All three of them are sitting on the desk. They're sitting. Yeah. What? Okay. Like uh, cross <laughs> cross legged, <legend? laughs> cross bullet. No, 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 no. Ready for battle. Crisscross applesauce. Nope. Ready for battle. <laughs> they're sitting, but ready for battle. Yeah. So we're standing around a desk. Punching. I think they're standing at full attention. Thank you very much. We're very attractive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're standing around a desk, punching dicks on a desk. That's right. I Crushing, burning. Yep. Yeah. Some of us are setting them on fire <laughs> and throwing shit at them. Thank you. Okay. So we're smashing dick on a desk. Whack a dick. Got it. I would like. I feel like you wanted to say whack a pole. Do you want to go back oh, and say whack a so pole? Much be- oh. <laughs> God damn it. So first the Matrix thing, now this. <laughs> I quit the bug. <laughs> Three dicks sit, sitting on a desk in front of me. D I C K I N G. Dicking? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're always. Lulu Lu doing dick stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, can I just say, dick stuff is my favorite stuff. <laughs> 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 okay. 
I'm going to, I'm going, going standard strategy, fireball the dicks. <laughs> wow. Okay. Dave, read that spell description for us. Yes, I will. Cause I actually didn't check this beforehand. So I might fireball the dicks. A bright streak would theoretically, if I do this, flash from my pointing finger to a point I choose within range and then blossom with a low roar into an explosion of flame. Each creature in a 20-foot radius. How far away are they? Oh, delightful. <laughs> how far away are they? Everyone is in a 20-foot radius. Everyone is in a 20-foot radius. You're, we literally just established you're all standing around a single desk together. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Um, you know, I'm not going to read the rest of this. I'm going to do something different. Oh. How are we all in life? Is everybody rough or? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm doing great. I'm doing good. I almost have double digits. Snedrick is uh, going to die soon if we don't get our shit together. I'm pretty low. I'm at 15. We're So the two of us are pretty low. Hmm. Yeah, well, me and Claw have the disadvantage of like we go right before the penises go. Yeah. So, so they're they, always attacking us. Yeah, they come back at us. Eldritch Blast! Bridget, did you cough a word? Uh, 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 Eldritch no. Blast? <laughs> mm. Did you cough Eldritch? Did you say Eldritch Blast? Or Eldritch Blast? <laughs> uh, I, I, I did. I did. I'd like to Eldritch. I, I would like to Eldritch or Blast. I, oh, she definitely uh, didn't say Blunder uh, Bust. That's for all sure. All right. I'm going to Eldritch Blast uh, all of them. You can only do one at a time, I think. They're next to each other. Doesn't matter. It's not They're hard. on a desk. Eldritch Blast. It's magic. I feel like knowing knowing Heath, I feel like he could do with one with each hand. <laughs> I'd like to take out my blunder bus. Ooh. Oh! Snedrick, dive for cover. I'm going to shoot these dicks in the face with my blunder bus. <laughs> Sometimes those go off prematurely, Heath. Yep. You should be careful. <laughs> All right. Roll that blunder bus attack for me. Oh, wait. That's the damage. I rolled damage. I didn't roll the attack first. It's not. It's very, very slow. What is happening? It's clicking. 12, 5, 13, 1. Well, 11, 17, 10, 8. The, the B. Is B good? Is B good or bad? That's, that's a natural 20. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's a natural 20. 20. 16. 16. That's a, that's a hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that will hit, and that will do 2d8 damage to everybody around. Damn right. Here, here it comes. Including us? Yep. yep. To everybody around. Why would it do that? It would be the people facing with the. Wait, the wait, 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 wait. Why would it hurt the people behind me? I rolled literally. Because it explodes. I rolled two eights. Eight plus eight on D8s. Fuck yeah. Let's hope we save. <laughs> so everybody make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to do it. So I'm dead. 16. Six. Okay. Listen, if you want to kill three That's dicks. It's okay. I will. I'll resurrect you after we. If you want to kill dicks, you got to resurrect people. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody take 16 damage for me. Uh-uh, not me. I rolled a 16. Hold on. I rolled an 18. I rolled an 18 dexterity check. Oh, you, you don't take any damage then. Oh, I'm safe. Nice. Nailed it. Can I just take 10 seeing as how that's all I have? Sure. 10. Claw goes down. Snedry goes down. <laughs> Guys, I know you can't hear me, but I'm nailing this. The dicks are about to die. <laughs> oh, if only I couldn't hear you too. Hi, Bridget. 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 With my dying breath, I'm going to turn him into a fucking yeah. crow. Or Bridget, cough! Fuck! <laughs> Carl dies. Uh-oh. Carl dies, of course. Oh, God. Wait, Carl died? Yeah. Yeah. Why couldn't Carl move out of the way first? Why didn't any of us move out of the way? Because everyone within a five, he had a, he literally had his horn in the pee hole of one of the dicks. <laughs> he wouldn't pull it back out? No, it's not you his turn. Out. You, everybody knows you pull out there. No. First of all, Carl's Italian, so he never pulls out. Second of all, <laughs> Carl's not Italian. He's from fucking Jersey. <laughs> he's Italian. That's not Italian. That's not the same. He's Pugtalian American. He's, he's a white guy. Roll a D 10,000. <laughs> 10,000? 10,000. Do you not remember this? Hold on. I'm, I'm just checking. I'm checking this blunderbuss explanation. All right. Dave, you had your turn. I, I Did I kill those dicks? No. You, you killed well, one dick. Unless you mean me and Claw, in yeah. which case, yes. <laughs> You're fainted. So now we got two tinies, two mediums. Two tinies, two mediums. That's correct. Got it. All right. The two tinies are going to jump at your eyes, Dave. They're going to try to blind you 
and grapple you. Always go straight for the eyes. Yep. The old <laughs> saying. So that is a strength contest. Both dicks can attack at once? Uh, they, they go one after the other. I was just using a little oh, bit of a okay. poetical flourish there. Just a little poetry. They're both going to have to roll a charisma saving throw first. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. Fairies. Because the fairies are back. Nice. Yeah, fairies first. Wait, before fairies, though, Heath still has to roll a D10,000. Oh, that's right. Because you, you, yes. Oh, my God. That's where we were. Why are we I, just <laughs> not? It's, it's. Mm. No, that's the best because part. Because you just killed my ass, dude. I've you just, just killed Carl. <laughs> yeah. You're alive. How would you even be talking right now? <laughs> <laughs> what do I roll? D10,000. Eli, you don't <laughs> know the things he said. He's that's dead. Right. You don't know those things. 9,627. Pretty extreme. If you turn into a dick. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Be pretty good. Whoever made this chart of 10,000 slots decided <laughs> to make one into you turn into a dick. I mean, I mean, you're already one, so. <laughs> Someone nearby Ooh. finds a book detailing horrific summoning rites. What? Right. <laughs> cool. I'm the only other person. Yeah. So, Bridget, Carl dies, and a book from the shelf in this room. That's not a mimic. That's just one of the ones glows gold and lands in front of you. And you now have a scroll of summoning for a demon. You're welcome. Ah! You're welcome, Bridget. Woo! I did that. All right. Now, Dave, the two tiny dicks are going to jump at your eyeballs, but they're going to have to make a strength contest with your spectral hand. Strength saving throw. Yeah. Oh, did they already do their charisma saving throw? Oh, they did it. That's right. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. They need to do this. I'm really? the one that smokes the snogs bane here. You you people should be able to keep this. Yeah, I really <laughs> should. Okay. Juvenile wisdom, right? I. See the word juvenile? Yeah. Problematic. There's 18. That'll take half. They're called juvenile minics. Just in case, in case you in case you think I was insulting you with some like weird old tiny <laughs> juvenile he heathens. We're talking about dicks no, attacking exactly. and you said the Thank word you. juvenile. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. It was in need of clarification. It's not not juvenile. <laughs> Can I just say this episode has lost its class. All right. First one rolls an 18. So it takes half. Second one rolls a 12. That does not. So uh, one take the one that rolled 12 takes 16 and the one that took half takes eight. So these two tiny dicks, they start to leap towards Dave and they are both speared on the end of a knitting needle by fairies as they go flying by. A heroin needle. And it should be like, I, oh, okay. it should gather them up as like darts, right? Like a dart should like go through <laughs> one and then the other and then pin them both to the wall. Yes. Oh, love it. Delightful. Fairies, mm -hmm. such a good job. They were, gonna, they were going for my eyes, like the old saying. All right, medium dick. Medium dick also needs to roll. Yeah, medium dick needs to roll. That's an eight. Full 16 damage. That will not. So it's going to take the full, wait, wait, wait. It's going to take the full eight. Eight damage. Oh, new, new damage. All right, takes that damage. And now two medium-sized dicks left. This one's just taking some damage from the fairies. It's going to spit at you, Dave, because you shot at it. It's going to shoot at you. Mage hand going to block the spit. Oh, yeah, because Mage Hand didn't need to be used. All right. Mage Hand dives in front of your... And, uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> dives in front. Keep going, Heath. Keep going. Yeah. Were... It's going to be a... <laughs> a 21. Uh, roll a dexterity saving throw for me. What's that? The fairies stop and put their lighters up in the air and wave them around. That was awful. I'm so glad I get to delete it from our podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> a dexterity saving throw for me. I just sung a beautiful I... Houston rendition that was cut, apparently. <laughs> All the fairies really loved it. Yeah, it's a fucking two. That's a two. All right. So this is the hand disintegrates. All right. Mimic number two, medium dick number two is going to try and spit at you, Dave. That is going to be, this is just a straight up attack roll. 18. That's going to do 11 damage. All right, Bridget, you are up. Okay. Um, I could inflict wounds. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to inflict wounds on, I guess, how many are there left? Two There's just medium a medium sized penises. Thank you. I will, I will, the one closest, I just. Mm. The one more damaged or less damaged? The, the, the. the more damaged. More damaged. Aye. Great. 
Roll that attack for me. That is uh, one second. Oh, here we go. 24 to hit. Nice. Roll that damage for me. That's 17 damage. 17 damage. Well done. All righty. Claw, roll your first death saving throw for me. Oh, five. All right. That's one failure. Okay. Snedrick, death saving throw for me. 19. All right. One success. Nice. And we're back to the top of the order. Blunder West was totally worth it. You guys are going to be fine. <laughs> Dave, you are up. What are they doing? Seriously? Sitting on a desk? They're just sitting on the desk. I Nice. Spitting at you, technically. I mean, technically, we could probably just leave, right? <laughs> no, the 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 charms behind you close the door. It's oh, like right, that old right, saying, right, right, when right, there's two right, dicks right. sitting on a desk, you just you leave. Just leave. <laughs> there's two dead guys and two dicks, <laughs> you leave. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that they locked us in until we killed them. Okay. All right. I might as well blunderbuss again. <laughs> I mean, you might as well. It's not like they can lose any more hit points. Mm -hmm. Can they? No, I can't have negative hit points. No. <laughs> nice. I step back and blunderbuss. All righty. I step back at least five feet, to be clear. I, they'll get an attack of a top opportunity. <laughs> if you step back, they'll both get attacks of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't be hit by your own gun. He can, because he's right there. That feels wrong. What? That's Nirvana. Imagine exploding a firecracker in front of you. That's, that's what we're... But it was my firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> they never attack their owners. They're like Doberman Pinchers. <laughs> who made who, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> who watches the dicks? Oh. I got it. I'm going to use my breath weapon, red fire something. Perfect. Love it. Yeah. So as an action, once per tourist, I exhale a 15 foot cone, which means I don't hit anybody else except the dicks. Yeah, because it's a cone. It would just go straight out to the dicks. Yep. And it would hit both dicks and it actually hits for pretty good power. So here we go. Dexterity saving throws for the dicks. They got to hit a 13. That's a six. Nice. Boom. Hit the first dick. Yep. And. A big cone of fire. A. Boom. Hit the second dick. 19. Cone of fire. What? So one of the dicks ducks. The other dick does not. That's a wily dick. Roll that damage for me. Hold on. How would it dodge this? It's a cone of fire. It would roll. It would like drop roll, and roll duck. towards you. It did Army crawls. <laughs> Army crawls. <laughs> did another kneel? It thing? would. It would helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, or like wacky waving inflatable arm. It goes all the way down to the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I... Okay, but they take half as much damage on a failed on a, if they save it. Yeah. Yeah. So roll that damage for me. All right. So here's the fire damage. It's happening. It's happening very slowly. Fired fire. <laughs> That's a 12. 12 damage and six to the other one. All right. There bursts into two tiny dicks. Yeah. All right. So we now have two tiny dicks, one medium sized dick. And it's the two tiny dicks turn. But they have to do saving to throws. Do That's saving right. Throws. Aye. We might be finally down to one dick. A nat 20. One of them oh, survived. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. The other one got an 18. Jeez. So they're going to take four. Four damage. Wait, which which did the nat 20? Ed. Ed is <laughs> one of the why, dead. Why, why, How would you, there's the just two. Why would which, what could possibly be gained <laughs> from the knowledge of which dick? <laughs> the one with the little mole. Yeah. <laughs> so that's four damage. <laughs> the one that leans slightly to the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are both skewered anyway. So even though they duck, they uh, they get taken out by your fairies. Nice. I, I like to think one of them like runs over them with their motorcycle. Yeah, exactly. Build a bridge out of them. <laughs> the other one, the other one backs the van that they're living in over them by accident <laughs> and then does a hit and run and calls their dad from the road and yeah. their dad gets it you? out of it. <laughs> Anna's friend murdered somebody, everybody. What? Yep. <laughs> Put it out there. God, I've never felt so free. <laughs> <laughs> Medium dick is up. Coming for you, Dave. Literally spitting at you. Why? Why? What? Coming. Because you're the last one alive. I think we already did the coming joke. Did we? <laughs> 15. 
Misses. That hits. That'll do 11 damage. Protest again. I took it. Take that dick. <laughs> That's what they say. All right. Bridget. Aye. You are up. Uh, okay. I will. Wait. Um, I forgot to have that one last one roll for the fairies. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Do it. Let do me it. do the fairies. Wait. So maybe it didn't hit me? No, it, it still hit you. Um, <laughs> 12. Give it that uh, fairy damage. Yeah, that's going to be, it rolled a 12, so that's going to be 13 damage. 13 yeah. damage. It's dead. It didn't hit me. Uh, it did hit you. It's still alive. Did it? It did hit you. Yep. If it's dead, it would just be two smaller ones, and the smaller one would hit you. I. Well, we don't know how that would have happened. All right, Bridget, you're up. I. Okay, I'm going to. Um, End it. Uh, End it. Shatter one of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> I'm going to shatter. It's got to do a constitution saving throw. Oh, is this everybody? One second. Yeah. Okay. Loud sunning 10 foot radius. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dave, you're going to have to unfortunately do a wisdom saving throw too. Constitution saving throw. Sorry. But this is a 10 foot radius centered on that point, which is any point. In my heart, I am more than 10 feet away. <laughs> I'm going to choose a point. That is... Like on the other side of the room. Right. Nice. Yeah. Barely gets go. them in. Just gets and the two us. dicks in your Aye. face. Okay. So. Two uh, dicks in your face. You're welcome, Dave. Thank you, Bridget. All right. They're going to have to do constitution saving throws. Yeah. Is it just one dick? I think it's just, it's one, just dick. one dick. Yeah. It's I one think dick. It's just one oh, dick. Oh, yep. it's one dick now. One oh, dick. Doing right. a constitution saving throw. Excellent. I thought it was two. No, because remember, it split into the thing. And even though they saved, they both. And then the died. fairy ran the van over it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes. You know what they say. <laughs> 17. All right. Bridget is going to sing a very loud and terrible song. Oh, wait. No, it's sudden loud ringing. Never mind. All right. Cool. Go sing the song anyway. <laughs> sing it anyway. Oh, I'm going to sing to my fairies after this. But all right. So the, it's 17. It's going to take half damage. It's going to take eight damage. All righty. Two tiny dicks. Shatters into two tiny dicks. I'll tell you what. The two tiny dicks, they look at each other. And they sort of shake their heads back and forth and they go bouncing into the fireplace and disappear. <laughs> Classic. Jack Reacher. I hope they come back later. <laughs> Hey, Heath, I heard a good joke on Facebook. I saw a good joke on Facebook that I thought you might like. Go. Um, if two croque madams have a conversation about something other than a croque monsieur, it's called passing the Bechamel test. I was, I could have got that. You, you should have asked me. <laughs> I, I would have got it. <laughs> I was about to say it. Passing the Bechamel test. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.